Okay, so on this problem here, the, these can be a little tricky, but this is kind of the best we can do in this situation. Um, so proving these identities are kind of hard with a computer system, but what we're doing here is we uh, convert the cotangent into cosine over sine, which looks good. Okay, so you're doing a quotient identity, you're turning the cotangent into a quotient. Um, then right here it says, um, what we're going to do is we get a common denominator, um, and so that's where the sine squared comes from, and you bring it together. And what you put, you know, typically that that's fine. You just were taking an extra step here. Your answer actually looks fine to me. Um, you're just doing it in two steps, which that's how I would normally do it, to be honest. Um, so... We go ahead, that, that your step right here looks great, but then they went ahead and they want you to go ahead and combine it right here. So write as one expression. So on your drop down, when you're trying to figure out which one to do, let's see, what did we put here? You said co-function identity. So uh, that doesn't apply here. So write the expression as one, combine like terms. And so that's how you end up here. And then uh, the numerator is uh, the du the double angle identity, so cosine of x squared minus sine of x squared um, using the double angle identity becomes cosine of 2x, and then you can see that we match the left side. And so, let's see, just so we can get some more practice, let me see... Okay, so I tried to pull up a similar question, but whenever I do a similar question... Oh! Okay, that time it did work. Okay, so let me go ahead and click, okay, work problem. All right, so right here we've got, uh, oh, now I got the same question again. Let me see if I can reload. There we go. Okay, so this time we've got 2 times cosine of 2x over sine of 2x equals uh, cotangent of x minus tangent of x. Okay. So it says, do not simplify. So we're probably going to be doing the quotient rule again, I assume. So let's see. Yep, we'll use the quotient identity. So what we're going to do here is cotangent of x will turn into cosine x. Oops, didn't mean to press. Thought it would give me a division. Let's see. Um, there we go. Uh, sine of x. And then we're going to have minus, and then we'll have sine of x on top, divided by cosine of x. There we go. All right, now let's see if that works. Okay, there we go. Okay, now let's see what our options are. What could we do here? We probably want to write as one expression and combine the like terms. So what's going to happen here is... Um, you're going to multiply the left side by cosine over cosine and the right side by sine over sine so that you can have that common denominator. And so what's going to happen is we're going to end up getting cosine of um, x squared. Oh, let's see, cosine um, of x squared minus sine of x squared, and then let's see, we'll divide, nope, let me see, do, do, do. Yeah, sometimes this stuff can uh, be somewhat of a learning curve, so let's see, here we go. Let me see if this will work, oops. Okay, so I went ahead and kind of fixed this up. I had to start with the quotient and then put the numerator and denominator in. So see, I got, I multiplied the left side by cosine over cosine and the right side by sine over sine. So I get that common denominator and this is what I end up with here. Okay, and then next what we're going to do here. So they actually already simplify for it here. The numerator up here is going to be the double angle um, identity, and actually, I guess we have it for, um, on bottom also. Um, let's see, multiply by 2 over 2 and the double angle identity is plural. Okay, so we'll go ahead and check that. Looks good. And there we go. So, yeah, you know, to be honest, this is 
typically I, this assignment is given as a paper assignment, um, but it is what it is. It's the best we can do for now. Um, so kind of hang in there on this, just play around with it. Hopefully it'll help you memorize some of the identities and how to manipulate them. I mean, that's what we really want from this.